recording these, by the way. And I just, it only does 10 minutes on YouTube, so I cut it off right at 9, right after reading. So here's what I wonder. If um, these two sections at the bottom, in fact, might serve as bookends. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I think that whenever I see two, two sections that are the same at the very end of a paper, I wonder if, in fact, one of them is really the way into the paper and the other one is the way out of the paper. Does that make sense? Well, I think even looking at them, like I could just say upcoming challenges and have a few paragraphs on writing and then a few paragraphs specifically to... Because if you have two of the same, then what you have is redundancy. Really, what you probably have exactly is either two sub, I mean, right now, are they just a paragraph each? No. Like, how much are in each of those sections on upcoming challenges and? Like, three paragraphs okay. each. Okay. So maybe they're, like, sub subsections kind of thing. So. Yeah, but, again, but, again, I don't even know, I don't know that they even need to have their own sections because mm -hmm. they do the writing one first and, like, this is what, you know, this is what I've learned about mm -hmm. my writing through Becker and this is and then oh okay sorry I have a side note so one of the things you said you talked about Becker's the one reading you talked about right Yeah. because one it was fresh would you also say it's because it's the one that helped you connect most or is that yeah. okay so do you talk about Becker quite a bit just in that last part just but within that last part yeah there's Or he says this is common to how people yeah, do. Yeah, I have some of that too. So one of the things I wonder is if Becker is the only reading source that you're really using throughout and you're using it as a way to talk about what you learned, might that also be another thing that can sit throughout? Like might that be something, quotes that show up? Yeah. It's a, most, most of his stuff that, I, that really sat with me was mm -hmm. around the writing process. Okay, okay. And is that in the research and writing one at the very top? No, that was, well. Besides capstone. I mean, I probably could, you know, add stuff in there about, you know, this is what I learned in this class and this we, is what Becker has yeah. to say about it. But I kind of focus on this is what I learned and this is what worked or what didn't work. And this is probably why, depending, dependent on my learning. So would you say you're closing with Becker, kind of, as kind of here's, cause notice what I'm, no, hopefully, here's what I want you guys to notice. I'm looking at how do you stylistically put this in your story. So one of the things that could be is, do you start in the very beginning where you're setting up self and uh, developing an attitude and pursuing higher education, do you start with any readings there? Or do you have real life readings that matter? No. Like, the only reading stuff is just that last. And I, the reason I bring that up is because sometimes people like to start with quotes and end with quotes, right? So there's kind of that whole, um, again, that's the bookend category, right? I'm going to put this down as kind of an option. Yeah, and I, did, I kind of did that with, I didn't start with quotes, but I did end with quotes around adapting. So like the whole Becker thing was, I'm going to, I need to start writing now, and this is how Becker has kind of showed me that I can, I can do this. And then the next one was that I need to remember, you know, certainly graduate school has been difficult, but I need to remember, you know, what I've learned, and I need to, to now I can recognize that I have a hard time kind of adapting to new stuff, and that's really part of what this program is about. So Okay, you know, hold that, hold that thought. I want everybody on your notes to write something down. <laughs> Don't say any more. <laughs> Take a moment. I want everybody to write down what do you think the title is of Jacinda's learning autobiography. <laughs> what is the title? And I want you to come up with the title as well. Write yourself a quick note.
And if it's just a few keywords, that's good too. Who wants to throw out a possible title or phrase? Anna looks like she has a thought. I call it growing, learning, conquering. Growing, <laughs> learning, <laughs> conquering. Who wants to go next? I have like self discovery in the middle of a colon. And uh -huh. <laughs> Self discovery dot dot dot. Self discovery. Just discovery. That was the word. That was the one word I got to. <laughs> what do you have, Jen? Um, well, you know, kind of like definitions go up, uh -huh. but uh, defining who I am. Ah. Defining who I am. I couldn't get rid of the word adapting since you said it a million times. So I was thinking of something as adapting and growing or adapting and learning, or but that's not nearly as witty and wonderful as Anna's is, growing, learning, conquering. And it uses all those gerund forms that are in all of your um, headings or your section headings, framing, building, identifying, moving. I mean, they're all... Here's, I guess, the thing, too, is you're talking about adapting, but what I also see is a progressiveness of the growing that um, Anna's catching on to, this developing something, pursuing, returning. They're all about movement. Maybe it's moving and adapting. I don't know, something like that. Um, but I feel like something around learning is probably important in your learning autobiography, but it doesn't have to be in there. Maybe that's after the colons. Um, so mine's kind of a little more boring right now, but did you have, what did you come up with for yourself? You have words. What are your words? Discovering, expanding, and comfort zone. Expanding. Okay. If you had to put comfort zone into a verb form, what would that be? Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. But the word comfort zone is in there, so is that in your narrative now? Have you talked about your comfort zone? Mm, not specifically in those words, but I said I like structure, that I don't like surprises. I I'm comfortable, things. most comfortable with. <laughs> I have a preference for. Yeah. Um, then you can get away from just like and don't like, which are more of those feeling words. And you can talk about preferences for learning. Yeah. Um, um, I'm challenged. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm more challenged when my comfort zone is kind of pushed or the, my boundaries, maybe boundaries and structure. Um, when there's less structure, I feel, um, I feel anxious that, you know, it's going to push me to, I don't know, not learn, right? But there's something there. So... Um, one of the things that also comes up, your word discovery, is also by self-discovery. Self I mean, we definitely, you can see these are really related terms, right? Everybody's kind of focusing on the same thing. 